Alrighty, folks, welcome back. So we're going to knock this last leg of the three-part Durinia deal here. And it's the king of the Ignitotaluses, or whatever he's called. I'm so bad with names. Uh, king Igneo, I, I'll just go ahead and call him for now. So I like to go ahead and once again travel to the Divine Beast for a nice quick flight down. And we are heading north, northwest of that location. Uh, Lake Darman, it looks like. And sooner or later down here, you're going to start to see an updraft. And that's how you know you're close. But you're probably going to see him down in the lava before you hit that. Matter of fact, that funny looking patch of lava down there, that's him. So for you picture takers out there, what you're going to want to do is get yourself... On solid ground here get that camera out and get your picture okay so ice arrows is gonna be the name of the game go ahead and get him extinguished and he didn't burn out there so you might need another one all right so once he's extinguished go ahead and fly on out jump aboard don't forget your high level attack power meal and the strongest weapon you have in your arsenal one handed usually works better for this guy now if your weapon breaks it's gonna stun him you might want to go ahead and catch some air uh, get to safety because you might have to go ahead and get him extinguished again case in point Okay, so rinse, lather, and repeat until you get him dead. He's really, uh, nuts. I lost my footing there. So he's really not that hard. Ah, come on, Link. What are you doing, dude? You just gotta really keep that footing on there good. All right, so as soon as you get him dead, go ahead and get that updraft and get to safety. So like I said, it's really not hard. It's just more fancy footwork than anything. So once he's dead, Shrine shall appear. And this is probably the coolest of the shrines, at least the Death Mountain deal here. My personal favorite. Remember the cannon shrine from Rito Village? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Alright, only this one's going to be a moving target, so... My best advice for this one is you're going to have to kind of lead into it. So, detonate the bomb right before your cannon is actually in line with it. If that makes sense. Alrighty. I'm not going to chew up a weapon on this, so what I like to do is just use a bomb to activate the switch. And like I said, you're going to want to detonate before... Uh, that was a little too early. Uh, before the thing is actually lined up with your target there. So right about there. Alright, so now this one's going to be moving up and down. There it goes. Right about there. Okay, I'll jump the gun a little. So just play with it until it works out. I'll usually wait until it just starts to move and then I'll hit my switch. And that should do the trick. Okay, so that's how you get out. Now there's a treasure chest in here. 
This one's kind of a doozy, but I'll show you how I do it. Long distance bow and fire arrow. Ooh, that bad boy's about to break. Let's fix that, shall we? So long distance bow and fire arrow. And you're going to want to light that uh, wooden platform up there on fire. And that'll drop the treasure chest. Uh-oh. Alright, so if the treasure chest doesn't drop, as just happened to me, you're going to have to back up a bit, and you're going to have to stasis it. And you can just catch a corner of it. So go ahead and get that uh, treasure chest stasis, and lob a couple of bomb arrows up there at it. Until you see a yellow arrow. And that should lodge it free. There we go. So it should fall on its own, but just in case it doesn't, that's how you would get it to lodge free. And then you can go ahead and Magnesis, and get your treasure chest. Now I want to say this one's a diamond. Boom, skis. Alright, so every now and again you'll get a treasure chest that's actually worth something, and that is one of those cases. Okay, so I could have sworn we had another cannon in here. Maybe I'm hallucinating, or maybe I dreamed it. Aha! I thought so. Alright, now this one is going to be a little trickier. So, just like before, you're going to have to hit this one twice. So just go ahead and set that up, like so. Go ahead and load her up. Alright, so once you hit that, we're going to have to kind of get the front thing out of our way. So back to the apparatus doohickey. And I think maybe it's this way. No. It's this way. Alright, so you want it to look like that. And I don't know where my B button went. Bear with me. There we go. Okay, I might even want to point that a little further down. Ah, nuts. Okay, so more like that. Get it good and low. Where's my B button now? Ah. Uh, that's the only thing I hate about these puzzles. Is you lose track of your buttons. There we go. Alright, so get that thing down a bit, and right about there, so you still have full view of the target. Alright, that should do the trick. And there you have it. That's how you get out of here. Alright, so good luck finding your B button on your gamepad or switch pad or whatever system you happen to be playing on pad. And we're out of here, folks. We'll meet you back at the Divine Beast for the final challenge.